how to build and run an Ansible execution environment? Using an Ansible execution environment is the latest technology to maintain up to date the Python dependency of the Ansible collection without interfere with your Linux system. It's the evolution of Python virtual environment. This initial configuration sometimes is a roadblock for some Ansible user. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about uh, the Ansible execution environment. The Ansible execution environment are container images that can be utilized as Ansible control node. It's the latest technology developed by Red Hat to simplify the automation process. The main advantage is a common environment for development and production images using container technology creating portable automation runtimes. This technology supersedes manual Python virtual environment, Ansible module dependency and bubble wrap. Experienced users are probably familiar with a lot of challenges managing custom Python virtual environment and Ansible module dependencies, as well uh, as uh, enterprise users of Ansible automation platform uh, was familiar with uh, and limited to executing job use under bubble wrap in order to isolate processes. The creation of the Ansible execution environment is performed by the Ansible Builder tool. Ansible Builder produces a directory that acts as a build context for the container image build, containing the container file along with any other files that need to be added to the image. The execution, on the other hand, is performed by the Ansible Runner tool. The Ansible Runner enables you to run the execution environment as a container in the current machine. It is basically taking care that the content run as expected. Are you ready to have fun? Let's move on to a little demo. How to build and run an Ansible execution environment using Ansible Builder and Ansible Runner tools. I'm going to show you how to build a custom my underscore ee Ansible execution environment using the Ansible Builder tool specifying some uh, custom system, Python and collection dependency. For example, let's build a custom Ansible execution environment called my ee with system requirement git, python dependency both of free and uh, all the uh, Amazon collection for interacting with Amazon web services. Are you ready to have fun? Let's make our hands dirty. Welcome to my editor. Let me create uh, one execution dash environment yml definition file. First of all, free dash is a YAML document uh, version 1 and let's specify some dependency. So Galaxy means all the role and collection dependency that could be for Ansible Galaxy or Automation Hub. So let's specify some requirement YML file. Python specify all the Python library dependency using requirements txt. System is the system dependency of this container image using bindep.txt. Let's specify also some additional build step, one before using pretend, or let me use the pipe operator to create a multi-line list, run pfp free install dash dash upgrade pip and setup tools. This is a good best practice. And on the app end, let me specify it's a list. So run ls dash l of root directory. And that's it. This is a simple execution environment definition for Ansible Builder tool. Let's take a quick overview of a file in the current directory. So requirements YML is 
is a standard uh, Ansible requirements file with uh, all the collection listed, in my case only community AWS. Requirement.txt is a standard Python requirement file with uh, Boto Core and this type of library. And BinDep is a standard system uh, dependency that uh, specify only Git as a dependency for this. Also, this is a simple playbook uh, inventory on localhost and this is a simple test connection script that uh, use the Ansible built-in ping module. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my Ansible controller. Let me do in SSH, DevOps is my username at demo.example.com. This is a freshly installed machine that I'm using for this uh, demo. Ok, first of all let's uh, create a directory EE with uh, all the file with a code inside of it. Ok, let me run the Ansible Builder command. Great, command not found, as expected. So we need to install it. There are di several ways. The one that I prefer is using my Enterprise Linux repository. This is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.5, so quite new. Ok, let's try to install using DNF, so DNF install ansible-builder package and uh, no match. Ok, this is why this is happening because uh, I didn't uh, enable my Ansible Automation Platform subscription, so let me use the subscription manager to enable the repository of Ansible Automation Platform. Latest edition is uh, Chudo 2 for L8 x86 64-bit RPMs. Ok, in a blink of an eye I'm expecting the subscription manager to enable this repository and being able to run Ansible Runner. And that's it, the repository is enabled for this system because my subscription was valid. Ok, great, so now that we have the right repository we are able to successfully install Ansible Builder package. If you are not running Enterprise Linux, you can still install it with a PIP install Ansible Runner. But I prefer the package one for my Linux Enterprise release. Ok, great, so let me accept this uh, solution with uh, 37 packages, a grand total of uh, 1 100, no, one, yeah, 177 megabyte installed. And as you can see, as expected, there are a bunch of utility for Python and uh, container manipulation. So at the end of this execution, we have the latest uh, version of Podman successfully installed. Let me remind you that Red Hat prefer Podman to Docker because uh, is a more or less the same container technology but can run also in user space. This is the main difference. Ok, a lot of packages are installing but uh, not uh, a good, not a lot of heavy load on our hand. Just we need to wait. DNF, the package manager, is taking care of installing, down no, downloading, installing and verifying that the package is uh, ready to use. So we got a complete status, yay! So finally we could exit to normal user and use the Ansible Builder utility. Oh, are you excited? I hope you are. Ansible-Builder Ok, let's perform a build operation. Ok, no, first of all let me take a look on uh, the available option on the command line. As you can see, we have a create for creating a build context or build a container image. We prefer to build this time. 
okay let me specify the name of the image with a t dash t parameter and my ee let me specify a verbose output with a parameter free okay we got an error because we are not connected to the ansible registry and so we are not able to download the minimal image necessary to build this container as you can see there is a url that is pointing out to this website that has all the information about red hat container registry authentication okay mainly there are three different red hat registry registry.access.redhat.com registry.redhat.io registry.connect.redhat.io that have a different also type of software inside and there are plenty of options to uh, connect to the registry using Podman, Scopeo or Docker. The document is split pretty long so you can take a look about all the other options but uh, our is the first one using Docker as a, as a um, uh, oh, for, for handling the authentication phase. So let me copy and paste the command line, the first one, podman login registry dot and return to the terminal. Back on the terminal, let me paste the command and move forward for our automation journey. So it's asking for username. This is actually my Red Hat username and my secret password. Once the login was succeeded, we are able to execute again the Ansible Builder command and the creation of our Ansible automation execution environment is going to start. As you can see, there are seven steps that need to be performed. The first is to actually download the execution environment minimal uh, container then uh, is going to take a look uh, if there are any role uh, to need it, need to be installed and there aren't any so we are moving to the collection download and actually there is one community AWS latest release is 4.1.1 that we are going to download and installing on uh, our execution environment okay Collection was successfully installed. What's next? What's next? Yes, so it's going to download the latest Ansible builder. So basically it's downloading the builder inside uh, inside of it. Okay, some downloading of uh, BLOB. So these are basically some image that are going to be downloaded just for the process of making another image. Okay, a lot of things are going and now we can see micro DNF. This is the stripped version of uh, DNF for interacting with containers that uh, is, is connecting to the repository and using uh, enterprise Linux 8.6, uh, downloading all the necessary metadata in order to perform our system dependency. Let me remind you that uh, we specify Git as a system dependency. so everything was uh, downloaded and installed. Now it's taking care of a Python dependency. This is uh, our dependency Boto Core. This is a library necessary for our Amazon collection. So it's downloaded with a PIP, the Python package manager, as you can see by the PIP free install. So in a blink of an eye, it's going to be downloaded and installed inside our image. Moving thing forward, when Boto Core was successfully installed, Boto Free is able to be executed and also Boto Library at all. So this is pretty staying forward. We don't need to do anything. As you can see, we are only waiting for everything to be sorted out. As well, there are some dependency. So, PIP is taking care of everything about this stuff. We set it up also PIP and set up tools. So everything now is up to date. What? So it looks like that everything is uh, uh, perfectly installed. 
and we are ready to move forward to the next steps of the image creation. So basically the Ansible Builder tool is able to create this uh, container context as we pleased. So specify some system, mm, Python and collection data. So now it's packaging all together and we got a complete status. Yay! Finally! So all the context is under the context subdirectory of my EE directory. Yay! This is a great accomplishment. I really love the Ansible Builder when the build is success. And the main advantage is that this container can run in our developer machine as well as the production or uh, acceptance uh, node. And this is great capabilities, on contrary of virtual environment that require a lot of manual interaction to be completely portable. As you can see, there is a context directory with a container file and on the underscore build there are the bindapp requirement.txt and yml. And this is the container image definition. Yay! How to run an Ansible execution environment using the Ansible Runner tool. I'm going to show you how to run the custom my underscore ee Ansible execution environment using the Ansible Runner tool. Back on my Ansible controller, I'm inside my custom execution environment definition and let me try to run using Ansible Runner utility. That is not installed on this node, so we need to install using DNF Ansible-Runner or if you are not running Enterprise Linux, you can use uh, PIP install uh, Ansible Runner. Okay, so eight packages needed and uh, there are some Python dependency as expected. Wow, we got a complete status, so we are able to move in forward. Okay, the syntax of uh, Ansible Runner changed a lot in the latest release, so I might be a bit rusty about it. Okay, so Ansible Runner, for sure, the, we would like to use the run option, specify dash p is a parameter for the par playbook name, and spe let's specify dash dash container dash image my ee and inventory inventory uh, file. Oh, probably I'm wrong, let me... Uh, there is a space between inventory and the parameter and let's, let me specify private data deal as a current directory. And great, we have a success, so we are able to execute ping.yml, that is uh, only testing the connection using the Ansible ping module, inside the container. Yay! Everything seems ready to have fun! The custom Ansible execution environment my underscore ee is uh, up and running and ready to take care of our Ansible playbook. Yay! Now you know how to build and run an Ansible execution environment using Ansible Builder and Ansible Runner tools. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful for you, give me a thumbs up and uh, Let's automate more. See us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!